Hello guys, I am Stardust. How are you? Hello guys, I am Stardust. How are you? Do you want to create this kind of character animation? This tutorial is for you. Please make sure you subscribe the channel and like the video. Let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Character Animator. As you see on the interface, there are many panels that we need to know. For instance, this is the project panel. So when we open a project, the files should be here. And this is history panel. We can see what we did before in, the, in this program. Okay, come to this panel, trigger. Uh, when we choose a puppet, there would be some triggers that we can use. Uh, this is controls panel, okay. This is timeline, as we know from After Effects, Adobe Animate CC. It is a similar thing. And we have here camera and microphone and properties. So for instance, when we choose a puppet, we can see these puppets properties on, uh, on the right side. So come here to the camera. There are some icons. This is the camera input. As you see, when I open it, as you see, I can see my camera, my face here. This is the microphone that we need to use. So there are some, uh, some settings that we need to do. Come here to the edit and preferences. And uh, you should include, you should choose your microphone here. Make sure you choose this one as well. Okay, click OK. Let's come to the home page. As you see, there are lots of puppets that we can use. You can call them characters, doesn't matter. So uh, we can use many puppets in this screen. For instance, I want to choose this puppet. Its name is uh, Stardust. Let's choose it. All right, here is the our puppet. As you understand, when I speak, the puppet's mouth shapes are changing. It depends on our mouth shapes. Perfect. So when I blink, as you see, it is also blinking. That's very good puppet. So let's see, come here to the project. This is Stardust, our puppet, and the scene. Uh, so when you choose Stardust, uh, as you see from this icon it is a photoshop file perfect there are triggers as i told you let's make some room here okay this is happy trigger for instance when i click z as you see he is happy or she is happy whatever you call and let's choose n press n as you see he is mad perfect and v he is sad right now so there are some triggers here and there are some shortcut here so you, when you press them you can apply those triggers perfect okay come to the here rig rig when we come to the rig section there are some parameters that we can use we can rig the character we can move its its arm or leg or head so this will be another lesson in the future so come again to the record. Let's some make animation. All right. So when I press nine, as you see, he is waving. I want to use this shortcut key as well. So in addition, I want to press X so that I can see he is smiling. Perfect. Now let's create an animation. First of all, we need to click record and then we can say whatever we want to say and we can move our eyes, our face, our head. Uh, so make sure, first of all, you click this record icon and make sure your camera is open and your microphone is working. Perfect. Let's start recording. Hello guys, I am Stardust. How are you? Okay, click record again. So we have this timeline properties let's see the animation play here click play button and let's see the animation hello guys i am stardust how are you as you see we have did a really great character animation in just a few seconds it is really wonderful program and you can do whatever character animation you want in this program so let's see some parameter on the timeline this is stardust 
For instance, this is I guess when I when I make it un invisible, so the I guess is stable. So I couldn't see any I guess here. So make sure they are all visible. This is lip sync. So when I make invisible, the mouth shapes is stable. Okay, perfect. All right, let's publish this animation. Uh, first of all, so drag this here so that we can just publish this area and right click trim scene to work area. So we just have this area. Excellent. If you want, you can trim this animation. So come here and let's make it here. Let's drag this here again. Right click and trim scene to work area. So we have this nice, just this. So we have just this duration. Perfect. So come here, we have some background color here. When you click on it, this is background with transparent. This is another transparent type. And this is black background. So I choose transparent background because I want to use in front of another video. That's good. Okay, let's save the, our project. Control C, file, and here we can publish, export, and we can publish with Adobe MIDI Encoder or PNG Sequence or WAV or another Adobe Dynamic Link. So I choose video with alpha. Alpha means transparent background. So let's choose this one with Adobe Media Encoder. First of all, let's save it here. Okay, desktop, save. So we are in Adobe Media Encoder. Come here and let's render it. Our video, our character animation is ready. Let's open Premiere. Here we are in Adobe Premiere. I have already imported an Illustrator file. So let's drag on the timeline and double click to the project panel. Let's choose our video here, Stardust. Click open. Perfect. And let's drag this animation here. So as you see, perfect. Click on it and let's increase its scale here and come choose position let's put it here so as you see we have used this video this character animation video in front of a bug a background hello guys i am stardust how are you as you see we have did really great job excellent excellent character animation by using Adobe Character Animator. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you find it very helpful. And if you find this video helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask on the comment section below. I will respond your questions as soon as possible. If you want to see similar videos using Adobe Character Animator, please give your thoughts on comment section below. I will see you next tutorial. Take care.